Hi, my name is Kirk Adkins, and I'm here to offer you some suggestions on how to make your elderly horse more comfortable during a trim. On the front legs, when you pick them up, you want to try to work them low into the midline. As you pull up and out, you put a lot of pressure on the side of the knee, and this causes a lot of discomfort in, in, in the horses. This is going to make the horse more comfortable, but it's pretty uncomfortable for me. But if a farrier turns like this and pulls the leg up like that, a lot of horses cannot tolerate that. If you pull the leg out, you can see it immediately. She's off balance and she's also fighting to, to maintain that position. It's very hard on them. So move closer to the midline. They're going to be much more comfortable. The hoof cradle is an important piece of equipment to use when you're doing older horses because it allows the horse to lean on it a little bit. And I prefer one that has an adjustable feature so that I can take it down lower to the ground for horses that have trouble with their mobility. There is another position that sometimes are advocated for older horses and that's to actually do a cross trim. And you can actually pull the foot across this way and rest against their leg here. And this actually is quite comfortable for them and it doesn't throw them off balance. I don't recommend this for horses that are not particularly well broke, but it is a useful position. You can use somebody else's help to hold the position of the foot while you get down and rest it on the one leg. From this position, I can do almost everything that I need to to trim and shoe. So now she's relaxed and she has her foot sitting there, just resting on the ground and you can do some work on it. This is more about training than it is about anything else right here, because she is so comfortable with the process that we're doing. In certain instances, you may not be able to get the foot up off the ground, so you need to work on the toe or the flares. In this case, I've used a block of wood many times and just get the foot to come forward enough and then set down on the block so that the toe is now accessible. And I can cut it off from the underside with the nippers. And you can also move the side, the block to the side and cut off the flares from the side. If you have an extreme case where the horse is really unstable, neurologic, or extremely painful, uh, it it's useful sometimes to trim them in the stall and let them lean against the wall as you pick up one leg and work your way around. So I do a lot of elderly horses right in the stalls. Hi, my name. <laughs> <laughs>